Hello, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call a deep cherry jar. Now the reason we're calling this a deep cherry jar, and I'll show you on the video here as we go forward, this area right in here is a really deep, kind of like those really dark cherries that you'll see, so that deep color is in here, and I'll show you that up close. Now this is a two-tone jar, of course. This is a brighter red down here. Being a bright color like this will really stand out in any garden, uh, a shade garden as well. But it, when you get into the shade garden, and I'll show you with the video, we'll go back here where there's no sun, and then I'm, I'll show you up close here where there is sun. The sun will bring out these multitude of colors in here, and you'll kind of lose that on the back side if you're in a shade area. You still get the brightness of the jar, you just won't show this, these multitude of colors in here. Uh, being two-tone, it kind of brings a little more interest maybe than some of the just one color jars. And of always, we always have the light kit, everybody gets the light kit, but the light kit goes in there, illuminates the plume of water. We just attach that to our copper pipe that we use. Right now, I'll grab the camera and show you up close. We're still just kind of coming out of winter here, so we don't have all our landscaping up. Greenery's not around, which is important for your fountains of any kind. You want greenery around them. And up lighting is a must on all of our fountains. Uh, you can kind of see that water action coming down over the jar there and when you up light that at night that amplifies all of that especially that plume of water the inside light really really brings it out but the up lighting i think they all need to be up lighted and the jars uh, need that light on the inside as well so right now we're going to look close and i think you can see those colors that the sun brings out you can kind of see the dark almost black really deep red and all that. Now I'll go around here to the side where the sun is not hitting and you kind of see that you lose that. You can see it maybe a little but the sun certainly brings that out a lot more. It's a really nice looking color. That deep red is kind of the color the first car I ever had. <laughs> I don't always like that color. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny, at southerngraceva.com.